The moment I heard the pop, everything on my left side started to go numb. I got up and I tried to go get an ice pack from the fridge and I remember I couldn't walk straight. His father-in-law rushed him to the ER. I had about six or seven nurses and a doctor surrounding me. He could have had a, a life-ending stroke. He could have died. He could have died. Dr. McCollum at Mercy showed us Josh's x-rays. We're injecting x-ray dye that has iodine in it. So this is his mouth, right? Right, then... you see his teeth. Here is a tear in the artery right here. Josh tore his vertebral artery, a crucial vessel leading to the brain. If you have a stroke in that area, you can end up with a patient. They're locked in. They can completely understand what's going on, but they can't communicate. They can't move anything. They can't speak. They can't breathe. Thankfully, Josh's stroke wasn't that significant, but it did cause a lot of damage. As one of the muscles that goes to his eye is weak because the nerve is injured. Josh had to wear an eye patch for several days. Double vision, blurry vision. Doctors decided Josh's condition was best treated with medicine and physical therapy. For the first few days, I couldn't walk without a walker. <laughs> Even though the walker is now put away, he still has a lot of problems. It is difficult for me to walk with my left leg. Also, a very strange side effect. But I had hiccups for about a week and a half straight. Painful hiccups that he says nearly caused a panic attack. But Josh told us the most difficult part has been emotional, not being able to help his wife with the two young children. I can't pick him up out of the crib and give him milk in the middle of the night. I can't do any of that. Is he going to always have consequences of the stroke? Probably so. We asked the doctor, is there any safe way to pop your neck? You know, if you want to pop your neck, just kind of pop it side to side and don't twist it. Or whenever you twist it, then there's a risk of tearing that vessel. Right. Say my, my hand is his head, I suspect he just turned it real sharply and then sharp and up. And then I think when he did sharp and up, like up and back, I think that is what really pinched it. And before Josh went into his procedure, he wanted to tell his wife one thing. And he wanted to tell his wife that he was sorry that he had popped his neck. His uh, wife had been telling him, don't pop your neck, you're gonna cause a stroke.